Pep Guardiola hails Liam Delap as Manchester City's new killer striker. On Saturday, for the first time this season, Manchester City had a striker on the pitch. Playing without a centre forward until this point has not stopped City from running away with the Premier League, of course, but it is always good to have an effective alternative, and in Liam Delap they certainly have that. He is a type of striker we don't have, a killer, typical British striker, Pep Guardiola, City's manager, said of the 18-year-old after an impressive win over Fulham in the FA Cup. He's a lovely guy, a fighter. Every training session, every time he fights, he wins the duels or breaks his nose. He fights and fights and fights. On the basis of Saturday's performance, it is easy to see what Guardiola means and why there is so much fuss around Delap, the son of the former Stoke City and Ireland player Rory Delap. Twelve minutes after his introduction from the bench Delap beat the Fulham goalkeeper, Paolo Gazaniga. The bustling centre forward peeled away from his marker at the back post and nodded in Ilkay Gundogan's wonderful curling cross to put City 5 to 1 up, or at least so it seemed. Unfortunately for the teenager, who was already running to the corner to celebrate, the assistant referee had raised his flag behind him. He was half a yard offside. It was a cruel blow for the 6 feet 1 inch Delap, who, upon making his senior debut in September 2020, was described as a wrecking ball by one first-team analyst. He made three appearances in all competitions last season and would have had more game time this campaign had he not suffered from two ankle injuries. Liam last season grew up a lot, especially with Enzo Maresca helping him to develop, Guardiola said. The only problem was injury after injury. He struggled a lot with his ankles, but he has a special quality. The goal is offside, but he was there and it was a goal. Delap's performances over the next four months will dictate whether he will be in the first-team squad next season. Julian Alvarez, the £15 million January signing who is seeing out the season on loan at River Plate, will arrive in the summer, when Guardiola will decide whether the Argentina forward is good enough to deliver in the Premier League. Goody will also push hard to persuade Erling Haaland, the most exciting young striker in Europe, to join them. Having breezed through the season so far without any strikers, it would seem implausible for Guardiola to have three in his plans next year, so it seems it is a straight contest between Alvarez and Delap for the backup striker's position, presuming that City succeed in signing Haaland. Delap's scoring statistics at youth level are phenomenal, he scored 24 goals in 20 appearances for the under-23s last season, but Guardiola feels there are areas in which he can improve. His first touch is one of them. A couple of minutes after he came on the lap, tried holding up play, but he miscontrolled, and the ball ran to Nathaniel Koloba. That may be down to rustiness, though, given that it was only his fifth appearance of the season. The plan, he will dictate to me, Guardiola said. The plan depends on his behavior and his performance. Now he is a player who is training every day with us. You cannot imagine the improvement from him, Romeo, Luke Mbeat, Maka. The plan depends on what they do on the pitch and off the pitch. Today, there are a lot of distractions off the pitch. Off the pitch with Liam it's not a problem because he has come from the world of football, so he knows exactly what he has to do. It is easy to see why Fulham are top of the Sky Bet Championship after Saturday's performance. Before Fabio Carvalho rounded off a slick passing move, only Paris Saint-Germain, Crystal Palace and Wickham Wanderers had taken the lead at the Etihad Stadium this season.